Hello, my name is Ian Tracy. I'm the city organist of Liverpool, having been so since 1987. And uh, this is my second pride and joy as I play at the cathedral, which is the largest organ in the country. And this is the third largest organ in the country. Um, I really began my association with organ music in this place because I was brought here by my grandfather and my father to organ recitals at the age of about five. And I remember seeing the city organist at the time, Dr Caleb Jarvis, uh, sitting at this, this monster instrument, very small, diminutive man he was, and making all this noise. And I decided this was for me. So that's really what got me the bug and started me off on this uh, lifetime's pursuit. The organist St George's Hall was built in 1855 by the f Liverpool firm of Henry Willis and Sons, who were just not far from here, probably about three quarters of a mile. And the organ was built in their Liverpool works and was at the time the largest instrument in the world. It was the most famous concert organ because most organs to that date had been in churches and this was an organ in a public building and uh, was specifically designed for the playing of orchestral music. And its first organist, Mr. William Thomas Best, who's just alongside me in bust form here, Mr. Best developed a series of concerts here on Saturdays uh, when the newly formed Liverpool Philharmonic Society had just also started up in business. And Mr. Best would walk along around about Wednesday when they put up their poster uh, to say what they were playing this week. And Mr. Best would read down the list, go to the Liverpool Public Libraries, get out the scores, and then single-handedly, at a fraction of the cost, would play exactly the same concert here on a Saturday night as the Philharmonic Society were giving up the hill for the ladies and gentlemen in their coaches and horses and their finery. But this was music for the masses. This was to give the, the Liverpool people at affordable prices great music. So there were oratorio movements, there were, there were movements from the operas, there were symphonies, concertos. Mr Best played them all. Apparently, all in all, about 500,000 pieces he had in his repertoire, which was staggering by anybody's calculations. And a, a great virtuoso, Franz Liszt, the pianist, um, uh, heard him play on one of his tours and uh, declared that this man was the greatest virtuoso he had ever heard. And he designed this monster instrument here, which has uh, really all of the other orchestral instruments. We have here clarinets, oboes, trumpets, we have flutes, we have uh, cellos, uh, other forms of strings, we have a French horn, we have cathedral chimes, we have tubers, we have trumpets in profusion, trombones, literally all of the orchestral instruments. So it's, it's a great palette of orchestral colour, specifically designed for playing orchestral transcriptions in the main. So in fact it's a very exciting development that this season we're bringing orchestral and organ music to the masses once again at affordable prices and it's a great opportunity to hear this organ in concert with a symphony orchestra. Not something that's been done very regularly here even in the, or in the organ's heyday uh, when, when in fact we had Mr Best here. I, I don't think it ever occurred to them to use the organ with a symphony orchestra because in fact Mr Best was playing all the symphony repertoire and really rather cocking a snoot at the fill so that was that was an absolutely purposeful decision of his they had vast choirs here we know that they did Elijah when the hall was opened with organ solo Mr Best played and they had a choir of over 500 on uh, temporary staging just underneath this platform but it's very very exciting that we're going to get this opportunity both to hear orchestral music in the hall and for the organ to play its part in the great organ orchestra repertoire. We're going to do the Saint-Saëns Organ Symphony, which of course is an epic piece. And uh, I, I can't wait really to, to pit myself against the orchestra. I rather think the organ probably will win. But at the end, of course, uh, Saint-Saëns asks for absolutely everything and it'll be extremely exciting to, uh, to hear this corporate sound in here. And then we're going to play Poulenc's Organ Concerto, which of course was really really written for a drawing room organ. It was written for the Countess de Polignac and her soirees and there was apparently a, quite a substantial uh, organ at the end of the drawing room but, but this will be even more substantial and, and its great sort of horror opening will uh, really resound in this great marble space. So I'm really very excited about this possibility because it's a, for me a first and I've been associated with the Hall's organ professionally since 1987 but as I said earlier since 1960 when I came to to my first concerts here and I can't recall ever hearing either of these pieces in this space.
What about that then? Who needs an orchestra? <laughs> <laughs>